And on that note, we cue the music. It's Gary and Nick from Bill's Books, the, Hello. the grifter and death blow of Bill's Books, uh, and not the current uh, Rob Liefeld grifter and death blow, but like the original cool Jim Lee grifter and death blow. I call death blow. That's fine with me. i am always been grifter. Sweet. Anyway, uh, so let's take a look at what we have this week. Um, of course, the Astonishing X-Men number 51. That's the big uh. book with the, uh, the big gay wedding, my big fat gay wedding. And uh, the Mayan calendar was right. It's the end of the world. Everybody, make peace with your gods and tell your loved ones that you always hated them because the Fish. world must be ending because two fictitious characters are getting married in a book. Exactly. Yes. So let's see what else do we have here. We have um, new Mars Attacks. It must be Mars Attacks week here at Bill's Books because we got the uh, number ones. Plus we got the big box set that collects all of the number ones in one big, easy-to-digest uh, uh, box. And that is just a simple uh, $200. Yeah, easy. I'll, buy, I'll take three of them. Um, and we also got Mars Attacks Classics, Volume 1. So it's a big Mars Attacks week here at Bill's Books. Uh, also, we got uh, the last issue of Rebel Blood, which we have always uh, supported. So uh, pick that up. Now on to Debris. Yes, Debris will be next from Riley Rosmo. Hey, AV, yeah. AVX. Yeah, Everyone right. in the world knows about yeah, that right. one. Uh, Cross, this looks like it's starting the new uh, Bath Salt storyline. That's what it looks like it's going on to me. But uh, we got yeah, that. I, I really honestly feel that uh, I, I'm going to the hot place in life after I die for all the people that I've got reading this book now. Yeah, thanks a lot, Nick, Yeah. for contributing to the delinquency of majors. Uh, also, Nick is very excited because Yay! of the news that his one of his favorite artists of all time, Chris Samney, is going to be taking over the art in Daredevil, which is also one of the best superhero books on the shelf. So uh, we've got uh, the new Daredevil. We've got uh, the new Godzilla ongoing. You know, we love Godzilla. Oh, uh, wait. Shh, listen. Okay. There you go. And this is the one that I said that the main character looks like Jason Statham. So basically, the new Godzilla book is like a Jason Statham movie with Godzilla. Is it? It's yeah. We, we said this last time. It's Crank meets yeah. yeah big it's lizards. Crank meets Godzilla. So meets Godzilla's Crank. Anyway, um, and also I love that writer Dwayne Swisinski. Always good. Uh, we got the new Hellblazer cover of the week. It looks like uh, Russell Brand and Katy Perry's wedding album. So we have got that. We've got, uh, let's see, the new uh, Secret Life of D.B. Cooper. Always, you know how much I love that book. Always a good book. And how sad I am that it's going to be ending. The new Shadow, which is turning out to be an excellent book. Liking and, it. I, I'm liking Spider a little bit more. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And this, the new Saga. Always which good. everybody loves. Um, let's see, what else do we have here? And, and I'm going to point out for people, uh, just to show them how awesome Chris Samney is, I mean, come on, look at this cover. If you haven't been picking up these last Wolverines just for the covers alone, then... Shame I, on you. I, I don't know if I can really talk to you anymore. Sure. I dislike that. <laughs> anyway, we also have the new Gotham Central Trade. I might actually pick this up because it's Ed Brubaker, Greg Rucka, Michael Lark... And the Joker's on the cover. How could I not have already read it? It's a great understand. series. I got it in floppies. Uh, we, whenever the DC guys offer us, oh, we got a new printing of this. I don't care what volume it is. It. Always buy it. The Comedian, the new Before Watchmen book. Gary, they got a picture of you. Yes, I, I have a mask just like that. 
but I got arrested the last time I wore it. Anyway, he was my favorite character from Watchmen because he is probably the biggest dickhead of all of them. Yeah. Yeah. And he didn't hide it. Yeah, right. He wasn't, like, trying to pretend he wasn't a dickhead. Anyway, um, first trade paperback of Frankenstein, Age in the Shade. You know how much I love that book. So if you haven't one. been reading it, this is a good time to jump on. Uh, let's see. What else do we have And here? also next to that, if anyone is interested, that's the third copy of the first volume of the Starman Omnibus Trades. There's going to be six of them. How about that? We've gone through two of them so far, so I, I really enjoy it. New Punisher book, which I like. Uh, this gigantic G.I. Joe. I don't know what it reprints, but it's got a sweet Scott it, Campbell It reprints cover. the first issue when it went over to Image, and then yeah. it's a bunch of just miscellaneous stuff after that. Sweet. So I was always a G.I. Joe kid growing up, not a Transformers kid. Well, you know, they're, they're these treasury editions, uh, some of them are for the guys who might need bigger words. Sure, sure. Yeah, my eyes, I, it's either that or i got to hold them farther out. Anyway, we also got a couple new action figures this week. We got Iron Man and we got Batman. This is what happens when you have too much money and your parents get killed. Is uh -huh. You either turn into Batman or Iron Man. It's the Narcissistic Billionaire Boys Club. You so either put on armor or you... Uh... Run around in tights. That's right. So, uh, let's see. What else do we want to talk about? Oh, I wanted to talk about the errors and omissions part of the... Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. First of all, before I forget, last week I said I was dis uh, despondent that the Jason Aaron run of The Incredible Hulk was coming to an end. I didn't mean that the book is getting canceled as far as I know, but Jason Aaron is leaving and I just don't know if I'm going to keep reading it but because Jason Aaron's run has just been insane. So... As far as I know, it's not being canceled, but he is leaving the book. So I, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep getting it. But uh, also, um, also last week we were talking about X Factor and why I love them. I neglected to mention one of my favorite parts of X Factor was when they when they included Wild Child, who is one of my all time favorite characters. He's like uh, a little snarly Wolverine guy that's not in every book. So Wild Child. One of my favorite characters, and that also kind of he also kind of falls under the obscure character of the week department that we sometimes have on this. Oh show. yeah. Yes. Whenever we don't have news on Peter Watch. Yeah, it's either Peter Watch or obscure character of the week. We'll give you something. Yes. So we, yeah, if we can't give you Peter, we'll give you something else. Anyway. <laughs> well, no. I know. <laughs> and uh, I feel like I let you down. I want to talk just a minute. I'm kind of upset about it. I feel like I let you guys down. I was. Uh, uh, reminded by uh, Brian, the guy that uh, works here with us, that I missed a prime opportunity for some great jokes last week. Uh, how I missed the fact that a guy named Wood was doing a book called The Massive. Yeah. How I didn't put that together in some kind of filthy double entendre, I don't know. So I apologize. I feel like I let you down. And also with the gay wedding and Alan Scott being gay and all the gay comic book stuff going on, how I neglected to, to mention when we showed that stack of Nova books that his actual name is Richard Ryder, which you could call him something else. How I neglected those two obvious jokes that were staring me in the face. I feel like I've let you down, and I, I have earned the thumbs down that I got. So, anyway, I apologize for that. So uh, uh, well, I still can't believe we missed Massive Wood. Yeah, Massive Wood. I mean, it was staring <laughs> me right, right in the, the face. <laughs> Wait, what? What? Anyway... We got, uh, let's see what else do we have here. We've got, got chicken. chicken. Yes, we brought chicken in for lunch. Bill brought chicken in for lunch. Chicken and beer, the breakfast of champions. <laughs> so, uh, let's see what else do we have here. We've got, uh, we've got some new collections that we bought. Or actually, we are uncovering this gigantic underground uh, treasure trove of comics that Bill has not ever seen underneath the, the cabinets here. All of them. It's like a Tannis-like dig. It's like the Tannis dig of comic book finds. We've got all these books we never knew we had. Some of it's dollar stock. Some of it's we're putting together sets. We've got some gems in here. We've got, uh, let's see, we've got, uh, look at that. And first book I pull out, it's a guy in a loincloth and a chick riding a woolly mammoth. So You can't you, write that stuff. Yeah, you can't write that. we got a nice run of Inhumans. We've got uh, some, some nice... Uh, Oh, we've got all four issues of the Rocket Raccoon limited series featuring early artwork from Mike Mignola, who does Hellboy. Um, we've got some uh, some prestige format uh, trade paperbacks for $2. Uh, we've got 
I was I'm making fun of Bill because he put these new Batman figures in the dollar box. So. Yes, but if you read farther, it says books. Oh, you people. I know. I require people yeah, to read. Right. We got some Justice. Uh, we got some Savage Dragon Barack Obamas. How about that? The sets one's got a nice, nice spirit run in it. Yeah, we've got all kinds of nice stuff. Actually, got... and then this is there, here's another one I saw that I. I I don't know if I want anyone else to have. Oh, the Madman! Nice Madman set. Oh, that's a, we love Madman here. Madman, we love Madman and Madman here. So, uh, yeah, we might uh, he might uh, get that. I'm going to take this personally. This four issue Fantastic Four versus the X Men from the late '80s. Uh, that's great storyline. Storm Mohawk time. That's yeah, always classic. Yeah, Mohawk Storm era. We get some more Anthros. Look at this: The Marriage of Anthro. If that's what marriage was like, I would have done it six times already. See, now that's a marriage issue. That's a marriage right there. That's some Jerry Springer stuff for you right there. Tower of Shadows. Pray for the man in the rat hole. I think that's about Snooky's boyfriend. Uh -huh. Ooh. Anyway, uh, we've also got the Inhumans. Some more Inhumans here. Uh, this is when they all lined up for the uh, for the uh, proctol proctol proctological review. Yeah. You know, that's the uh, Inhuman proctology. It, it is Inhuman. Yes, it is Inhuman. Yeah. Because he's not wearing pants. Anyway, this is what it would look like if I dressed up as Batman for one of these videos. I think uh, I've seen him a couple times at a couple shows. Yeah, I think so too. So, uh, but the, we got some uh, Captain Savage and his leather neck graders. Hoorah. Yeah, right. And we got the Punisher. We got all kinds of stuff here. So uh, uh, we got oh, we got our blank covers here. We got some great uh, trade paperbacks. Uh, let's see here. See, this is Clyde Barker. this is what happens when Bill has a vacation time during the week. He finally starts going through the lost boxes, finding stuff he doesn't know. Finding stuff he doesn't know he had. And down there, you see them stacks of long boxes. People, those are all newly discovered, uh, newly discovered dollar books. Oh, boy, He's joining him this dollar. weekend, Sunday at a show in Akron, Kansas. Yes, let's show them the show. Let's show them. Yes, uh, we've got the uh, show coming up in Akron this weekend. He will be there Sunday, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. And I might actually go there. Um, I'm supposed to actually go canoeing on Sunday, but I don't know whether I'm going to. But tomorrow, or Saturday, I'm Saturday. sorry, Saturday, I will be at Monster Bash in Butler, Pennsylvania, the monster movie convention that I was telling you guys about. I'm really pumped about it. I will have all kinds of cool swag to show you next week. So Will it be a bash? It will be quite a the bash. monster bash? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I went Anyway. There. So, uh, so, oh, before I go, we got another dislike last week. I'm very excited about it. We actually have another NFL Super Pro, number one, that I have autographed to the disliker with a thumbs down. It says, thumbs down to the disliker from Gary Rabuzzi, NFL Super Pro, number one, for the person who comes forward as the original disliker. In the comments section, let us know. And uh, we will send you this comic book because we're very excited about the Next time, we want all dislikes. We want YouTube to kick us off. We want YouTube to tear down the video because we get all dislikes on our, on our uh, video. So when you see this video, I want you to give it a big thumbs down. So I'm not telling that my other uh, uh, loyal fans that they should rise up and exact bloody retribution from the disliker. That would be irresponsible of me. Yeah, we, we don't. We don't. I'm not telling them they should do stuff that. Like that here. I'm not telling them not to, but I'm not telling them that they have to. So anyway, so that's the disliker. This is for the disliker. So, till next time, this is Gary and Nick saying goodbye from Bill's books. Bye bye. Adios.